So I watched a really old and obscure movie. I'm pretty sure it's both. Um, so um, yeah, um, I'm not sure. I mean, why some? I mean, you know, just I I suppose you know it's this Passenger to London is most most comparable to Hitchcock's movies, but it is absolutely much more obscure, obviously. But otherwise, I mean, you know, there's um. I've I've seen some other you know, I've seen a Hitchcock movie which uh, uh, also featured uh, um, lady on a train and etc. And um, for some reason that guy is much more popular. I'm not sure I'm entirely sure why. I mean I don't personally think you know his movies are, are automatically better or worse for that matter. I mean he he's kind of movies all seem to be very similar to me, really. Uh, so was this, I mean, you know, um, shorter than most uh, movies, but similar otherwise. Interesting tidbits was how uh, at one point they, they seemed to um, go and watch some cartoon and they were surprised that it had colour. I was uh, then of course wondering how uh, they went to go watch cartoons in colour when the, the room very movie didn't have color so yeah I don't know how they did it and didn't do it in this sense like we said um, yeah other than that I mean in terms of the you know the supposed romantic subplots of the movie uh, it didn't quite work I thought I mean how how does a relationship begin from some strange guy uh, supposedly looking at some Gas in your private room, you know, um, it's 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 very spurious, and then somehow, you know, I mean, obviously, all right, after that, I guess she could, but I still don't know how, you know, she she decided to spend the day with him and whatnot, uh, you know, uh, I find it <laughs> some stranger in, um, you know, your room, yeah, um, otherwise. Um, it, it was a bit strange. I mean, why would uh, um, some intelligence agent be drunk on the train? I have no idea why. Hey, the fact that they didn't translate most of the French as well. Uh, yeah, and but it, well, at any rate, it's 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 all fairly dry anyway, like most uh, other. I'm not sure if this is called Neo Noir now, it's, it's labeled as a thriller, though, here, yeah, not a Neo Noir. I think it's a thriller. It uh, didn't quite thrill me so much, but um, I guess it sort of is. Um, I don't know. All the people there, whenever they're hit by something, you know, this, this is a problem in many movies, but uh, particularly in old ones, they don't seem to want to have any sort of sound effect, you know? People just go down and somehow they all go down after one single hit, you know? I doubt that's realistic unless the person is really fragile and somehow everyone seems fragile in old movies. It's um, quite something. So yeah, they all go, seem to go down with one hit. I mean, you know, a recent uh, movie I also watched, um, you know, um, uh, this also happened, you know, in the 49th parallel, it uh, also happened, uh, uh, a hit with the back of a, a gun, yeah, it just totally knocked him out. Hmm. One would think, why would guns exist if they can just simply, might as well, you know, just have a, something like that, a piece of plastic with nothing inside, and, you know, people could just hit everyone and they just go down immediately, why, why shoot them at all? Yeah, um... Somehow they all do in, in all old movies. It's, it's a bit absurd. Because of course it's not at all realistic. But crucially, I think it mostly happens in old movies at least, you know. I um, don't quite remember it happening in mm, newer movies. In old movies you get, you get you know, them hitting them. And no sound effect for some reason. So somehow they, they thought, yeah, we can just blank out the sound effect. I mean, it's much easier anyway, might as well. No need for additional things. It's absurd though. I mean, I don't know, did they think that in real life there would be no sound effect? <sighs> well, anyway, yeah, so... 
that's what it is, and uh, another old movie. It's it's not as good as Forty Nine Parallel. It had a uh, interesting story as much as far as stories go. Of course, it was uh, supposedly won the Oscar for um, the story. So yeah, it was a nice day even back then. This this was yeah some, something much more obscure here. Yeah. Um, even earlier, so much earlier. This was even before World War Two began in earnest. Before France was taking over, actually. France was featured a bit, you know, and so, uh, yeah, 1937. Um, it's quite old, but, um, I don't know, it seems like it's, it's it was made by some director who's known to direct so called B movies, I suppose, where it's just somehow, it's not as, you know. Yeah. In contrast, 49th Parallel had, um, nearly 6,000 raters. I mean, that, that's still not much, considering it's uh, <laughs> uh, 80 years old, yeah, 80 years. This is even longer, of course, and it has 500 or so raters. Um, this movie I'm commenting on, Passenger to London, yeah, um, but generally I guess all movies do have less ratings. Um... I'm not sure why, well, mainly because I guess I suppose this, this site here was created much later than their creation. I don't know, maybe um, most, most people who watch them watch them when they came out. And of course, themselves are no longer here to rate it. Likely. That's the unfortunate fact. Um, yeah, and of course, when it comes to old movies, most actors are already old. And it's, it's just happens, so yeah. Um, there wasn't really anyone who stands out, so it's quite something I thought to see this um, Jenny Lyard, you know. Um, she was quite different when, and at this age, quite different uh, to when she was older then, yeah. Um, yeah, and uh, age does that, I guess. She died in 2001. Quite different, so she was. Well, yeah, she she was. Hmm. How much is that? It's uh, she was she was just 15. Well, uh, yeah, seems like it. Just 15. Um. Yeah, no wonder she changed. Then I suppose it's uh, quite uh, natural. Um. But yeah, she lived up to 89, I think. It's quite an old movie. And that, in a way, is something that old movies do, you know, make you think about time and such, regardless of their content, that is. Um, but of course, uh, <laughs> if their content isn't much, you know, this is not much, then uh, probably I'll try to watch a, some sort of comedic old movie next. You know, these two are sort of similar, well, not exactly similar, but you know, yeah. Um, but at any rate, yeah, this was dry as they come, really, mostly. But uh, the receptionist was interesting, you know, whatever she said was kind of interesting, uh, always sarcastic, though. I think she might have been the highlight, uh, possibly, otherwise, though, of her. 